Today I'm making some creamy white chili, and this recipe is from the Taste of Home cookbook. At Christmas time, I bought three of these cookbooks. I gave one to my daughter, one to my daughter-in-law, and I kept one for myself. And I told each of them that if they tried a recipe in this book and they liked it, to let me know about it, then I would try it, make a video of it, and share it with all of you. So my daughter-in-law made the chili a few days ago, and she loved it. Uh, she was uh, so crazy about it that she even sent me a picture of it. When I saw that picture, I thought, wow, I wonder if I'm missing any plates. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They have a set of dishes just like mine. <laughs> um, I better take account, though. <laughs> so... Uh, Here's how to make the chili. And my daughter-in-law said it's, it was real good heated up the next day, but it gets more of a bite to it <laughs> uh, after it sat in the refrigerator all night. Now this recipe calls for one pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast that has been cut into half-inch cubes. Well, you know me, I can chicken, so the chicken is already cooked, so I can skip some of this stuff. Uh, you're supposed to take the chicken and saute it in about a tablespoon of vegetable oil along with a cup of chopped onion. So I'm going to saute these. And one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder. Then you add two 15 ounce cans of great northern beans. And a 14 and a half ounce can of chicken broth. Add two four ounce cans of diced green chilies. A teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of ground cumin, a teaspoon of oregano. It calls for half a teaspoon of pepper, but she said that was too much pepper, so I'm using about a quarter teaspoon. And a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. I think she said that was a little heavy too, so I backed off of that a little bit. And bring this to a boil. I think I'm going to need a bigger pot. I've moved this to a larger pot. I brought it to a boil. Then I reduced the heat and I'm going to let it simmer for 30 minutes. And I tell you, this already tastes good. Uh, this whole cookbook thing is going to work out great. Uh, and this is actually a, a very good food storage meal because uh, the only fresh food I've put in here so far is... Uh, the onions and you could use dehydrated onions for that. The only thing that's left to go in here is some sour cream and some whipping cream and it tastes good enough without it I think uh, but you might be able to use a powdered sour cream. I haven't tried that before but if any of you have let us know how you like it because I've heard mixed reviews on that. But I could eat it just like this. And I'm holding off putting the chicken in here because it's been canned and it's already fully cooked. And I'm afraid if I add it too soon, it'll just come fall completely apart. And I was supposed to rinse and drain those uh, beans. Oh well, <laughs> I guess this is going to be a little runnier than it should be. I have about 10 minutes left on this, so I'm going to add the chicken to it now. Doesn't that look good? It tastes good, just like this too, without the cream and the sour cream going into it. So I'll let you know how much of a big difference it makes. This is really good. I'm sure that someone is going to ask if this recipe can be canned. 
Uh, there is a recipe on the internet for canning white chili. If you look up uh, canning white chili for dummies, you'll find it. I'm doing the same thing my daughter-in-law did. I made some bread bowls and I uh, used the recipe that I told you about the other day in that uh, yeast storing video. Uh, it's Jack's versatile dough recipe, which can also be made completely from food storage. Okay, time's up. So I'm going to remove it from the heat. I'm adding one cup of sour cream and half a cup of whipping cream. This is excellent. I know why my daughter-in-law is raving about this now. And even though the sour cream and the whipping cream is good, it's just as good without it, I think. If you didn't have it. This uh, could be made from food storage. Get a little piece of bread here with it. Man, that's good. I can see why she's falling in love with that book. See what I mean about plate? <laughs> this is really good. Be sure to give this recipe a try. I hope it helps.